In the vast expanse of space, Mars stands as a beacon of potential and mystery. It's a world that has tantalized astronomers, scientists, and dreamers alike with the possibility of harboring life. The discovery of extraterrestrial microbes on Mars, specifically a bacteria called Conan, marks a pivotal chapter in this ongoing saga of space exploration. Conan, the nickname for a hypothetical bacteria capable of absorbing and surviving the harsh conditions of space, represents a significant leap in our understanding of life in the universe. Such an organism challenges our notions about the adaptability of life. It is a testament to life's ability to thrive in the most inhospitable environments, far beyond the limits of Earth. The search and study of these types of extraterrestrial life forms have been driven by the efforts of organizations such as NASA and private companies such as SpaceX. Led by visionary Elon Musk, NASA has been at the forefront of Martian exploration for decades, sending a fleet of rovers, landers, and orbiters to the Red Planet. These missions aim to discover the secrets of Mars, search for evidence of past and present life, and understand the planet's climate and geology. SpaceX, on the other hand, has revolutionized space travel with its cutting-edge technology and ambitious goals. Elon Musk's vision of colonizing Mars has added a new dimension to space exploration, combining scientific pursuit with the aspiration to make life multiplanetary. The collaboration and competition between these entities has accelerated the pace of discoveries and opened new frontiers in the search for extraterrestrial life. However, this exciting company is not without controversy. A major debate revolves around the possibility that microbial life discovered on Mars, including a bacteria like Conan, may actually be the result of contamination from Earth. It is speculated that Earth-based probes and spacecraft, despite strict sterilization measures, could inadvertently transport Earth microbes to Mars. This scenario raises the question, are we simply detecting our own biological echo rather than discovering truly Martian life? The implications of such accidental contamination are profound. It could lead to false positives in the search for extraterrestrial life, disorienting our understanding of Martian biology and ecology. It also highlights the crucial importance of planetary protection protocols, ensuring that our explorations do not inadvertently damage the environments we seek to study. In this context, the role of organizations such as NASA and SpaceX becomes even more critical. Ensuring spacecraft are free of terrestrial contaminants is a huge challenge that requires advanced technology and rigorous procedures. The balance between exploring new worlds and protecting them from our influence is delicate and requires constant vigilance. The discovery of the Conan bacteria on Mars, capable of surviving in space, is not only a monumental scientific achievement but also a philosophical milestone. It would mean that life is not a phenomenon exclusive to Earth and that the universe could be teeming with life in ways we have not yet understood. Conan, a bacteria capable of withstanding the harsh environment of space, on the Martian surface. Such an organism, with its extraordinary survival capabilities, not only redefines our understanding of life but also offers insights into the mechanisms of extremophiles organisms that thrive in conditions lethal to most life forms on Earth. The resistance of a bacteria of this type, capable of withstanding extreme radiation, vacuum and temperature fluctuations, provides invaluable information for multiple scientific fields. For astrobiologists, it is a living example of the adaptability of life and a clue to the potential diversity of life forms in the cosmos. For space travel and colonization efforts, such as those carried out by companies like SpaceX, understanding how Conan survives could inform the development of life support systems and protective measures for long-duration space missions. However, the joy and excitement of such a discovery goes hand-in-hand -hand with complex ethical and practical challenges. The possibility that Conan or similar microbes could have been transported to Mars by human-made probes, such as those sent by NASA or SpaceX, ignites a debate about the integrity of space exploration. It underscores the critical need for meticulous sterilization and containment procedures on space missions to avoid cross-contamination. This is not only a question of scientific integrity but also of planetary management. We must ensure that our quest for knowledge does not inadvertently harm the celestial bodies we explore. The role of organizations like NASA and SpaceX in addressing these challenges is paramount. 
they must lead the establishment and enforcement of strict planetary protection protocols. Their missions must be designed to distinguish between indigenous extraterrestrial life and contaminants on Earth, a task that requires advanced technology and innovative scientific approaches. Looking ahead, if Martian microbes like Conan were conclusively identified as indigenous to Mars, it would open new chapters in the human quest to explore and understand the universe. It would likely accelerate efforts to send crewed missions to Mars, a goal SpaceX and international space agencies have been working on. The presence of such life would also raise profound questions about the ethical implications of human colonization of Mars. How do we coexist with Martian life? What measures do we take to protect and preserve these alien ecosystems? The hypothetical scenario of transporting Martian life forms, such as the resilient Conan bacteria, to Earth is fraught with uncertainties and risks that could have catastrophic consequences. The introduction of an extraterrestrial organism into Earth's delicately balanced ecosystem poses unprecedented challenges and raises questions that intersect science, ethics, and global security. One of the most immediate and alarming concerns is the possibility that Martian microbes are pathogenic to life on Earth. The biology of Martian organisms, having evolved in a completely different environment, would be foreign to life forms on Earth. This could mean that Earth's biosphere, including humans, animals and plants, would have no natural immunity or defense mechanisms against potential Martian pathogens. The introduction of such organisms could lead to the outbreak of new and untreatable diseases, potentially leading to a global health crisis. Furthermore, the ecological impact of introducing Martian life to Earth could be profound. Martian organisms, if they could survive and reproduce in Earth's environment, could compete with native species for resources. This could disrupt ecosystems, cause the displacement or extinction of native species, and disrupt ecological balances that have been established over millions of years. The introduction of invasive species to Earth has already shown how devastating such ecological disruptions can be. The risks extend beyond biology and ecology. The possibility of Martian microbes carrying bioactive compounds or interacting in unforeseen ways with Earth materials and technologies presents a variety of environmental and safety hazards. These risks require rigorous containment and study protocols, similar to those used to handle dangerous biological agents or unknown substances. From an ethical point of view, the act of bringing Martian life to Earth raises profound questions. Do we have the right to expose our planet to such risks? What responsibilities do we have to protect our own biosphere and ensure the safety of all life on Earth? These questions demand a cautious and thoughtful approach to space exploration and sample return missions. Faced with these risks, space agencies such as NASA and international regulatory bodies emphasize strict planetary protection protocols. Any mission designed to return samples from Mars to Earth must include measures to prevent the accidental release of Martian material into the environment. This includes secure sample containment, rigorous testing and quarantine procedures, and detailed risk assessments. Looking ahead, the potential consequences of bringing Martian life to Earth underscore the importance of international cooperation and governance in space exploration. As we advance our capabilities to explore and potentially bring back samples from other worlds, a global consensus and legal framework governing these activities becomes increasingly vital. This framework must balance scientific exploration with the protection of Earth's biosphere, ensuring that the pursuit of knowledge does not come at the expense of the security and stability of our planet. In conclusion, the possibility of transporting Martian life to Earth while representing a milestone in human scientific achievements, is an enterprise fraught with profound risks and ethical dilemmas. It reminds us of our responsibility as stewards of both our planet and the cosmos at large. As we reach for the stars, we must do so with caution, respect, and a deep sense of responsibility toward the fragile web of life of which we are a part. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming journeys through knowledge and mystery. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends.